Hey, hello, my name is Bullets. Uh, I'm the current world record holder. It doesn't matter, but I guess if people want, I guess, justification of why I'm making this tutorial, I currently have the record for 1.0. Uh, any person in Oaks did a climb for human full flat speed running, and I did a run of this game at AGQ 2017, and I've never taken that <laughs> skin off since then, but anyways, I should probably. But uh, I decided, since a lot of new runners are picking up the game, and as kind of a, a self-exercise to, to de-rust it a little bit, and just because it's a good resource to have out there, um, I decided I would go ahead and try to make a tutorial to you explain some of the things, alternative strats, visual lineups, uh, things of that nature, and try to help newer players out so that they know what's going on. Um, I'll explain a few things, because this also helps you explain things that you don't really see in a run, like there's some things that happened before, and so the first thing to know is that, so we're playing on 1.3 even though I might split say 1.2, ignore that. I didn't feel like making new splits. Uh, 1.3 makes extended climbing harder. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how. It seems the window for doing it's harder, and sometimes your fingers or hands, maybe they got one big finger. I don't know. Anyways, will slip off easier. So if you're going to do an extended climb run, if you want the fastest run, what you can do actually is if you go to Steam, right click the game on Steam, go to Properties. Uh, and then go to beta, you can select the 1.0 for speedrunners option, which the devs were kind enough to put in an hour after I asked them um, to uh, put that up there so that there would always be a, a resource for people that want to pick up the game and want to play the original and now fastest category. If you're doing no extended climb and you'd like to include Aztec, I would um, recommend doing 1.3 no extended climb runs, which I will be showing tutorial stuff for um, today, but I will be also explaining the differences between this and 1.0. Uh, obviously the big difference is the addition of Aztec, other than some menu changes, some audio changes. So Aztec obviously adds in a completely different, um, completely new level so it makes the run a lot longer. But anyways, the first thing to mention is that what you want to do before you start any runs, the first time you start the game up is you want to go to single player, select level, and I just start with Aztec and go down this way, but you, what you'll do is you just want to open the level, let it load in, and then you want to um, want to quit out of the level immediately afterwards and just go to each level and preload them. Um, this will make your load times a lot better. I already did it before uh, starting this video out so you don't have to go through every one, but you would do that and then you would go to select level, power plant, then water, and you do this for every single level until you get to mansion, which is where we'll start. Um, another important thing to know is that, or I guess the difference is really small that really won't come too much into play, but it is important to know if you get confused. When you start any level, when you load in and you start falling to the ground, you should always be pressing either T or Y, depending on what version you play on, because that'll knock your character out while in the middle of the air. Because when you hit the ground, your character gets knocked unconscious and it takes like five seconds or seven seconds for them to get back up. So if you knock them out while they're in the air, and when they hit the ground, they don't get knocked out, and they'll get up a lot quicker than if they just hit the ground. But for 1.0, it's T, but since they added the talk option in 1.2, 1.3, uh, it'll be Y if you're playing on 1.3. So anyways, let's get to that. So I'm going to do that right off the beginning. So timing starts when you hit the ground. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It's always been that way. <laughs> I guess human fall flat. Second, the first time you fall flat, that's when we start timing. But anyways, you let play. The very beginning, since I'm playing on 1.3, I'm going to Y, which knocks my character out, start timing then. You'll see he gets up very quickly. So the fastest way of moving this game is holding space the entire time and holding W and one of these strafe keys to uh, go a little faster. What we do there, let me just load a checkpoint and actually slow down and show some things off. I still have the muscle memory pressing T instead of Y, so I'll probably mess it up a little bit. Uh, don't mind the timer too much just to keep me on track. But anyways. 
So when you're coming up this ladder, or not ladder, there's staircases. Um, when you're jumping over here, it's okay to take like an extra jump to get across here. Um, riskier, you can get obviously less jumps, but you're just going to be holding space until you feel like you have enough speed and you just leap across here. You can also stop moving and then just do a normal jump across this gap, I believe. Um, you can just stop moving once you get up here. Walk to the edge and then jump. Yep. So if you're having difficulty with doing that on the move, you can just stop and jump like that. So then you're just going to hop over here, press both the buttons. I believe in 1.3 they've actually changed it where it actually a bit of a magnet grip to it. For some reason now in 1.3, when it's loading the next level, it'll have you land in the level you're in before. So this level, like you saw there, uh, the second I loaded in, the second the level loaded below me, I pressed Y, so I knocked my character out. Um, this level has two main routes through it. Um, I will strongly suggest one of them and show you the second one, just so you know, both of them. Um, at the very beginning of doing runs before, I would say you get like a, I don't know what a, what a good uh, time to say, but once you start really getting the run, you're looking for time saves. I would do the other way, but for everyone else, what I would suggest doing is after you uh, land down there, you're gonna jump over here, jump onto this train, leap over these. Um, how this works, this train right here, is if you grab too far toward, like if you grab up here and you're trying to get yourself up, your person will really struggle to get up. But if you grab like right next to the edge, it'll be a lot easier. Something to look out for. Just jump across here, vault over here, and you've skipped about 90, 95% of the level. Then you're just gonna be bunny hopping and jumping across here. You can press that button if this jump gives you troubles, but it really shouldn't. It's just leaping across this corner. And then after this, you're gonna be jumping off this ledge. You don't wanna jump too far because the loading zone, if you jump too far, you'll actually miss it completely. And uh, it'll load you in the nearest checkpoint, which isn't too bad, but it's a little silly if you just try to go really far out. So now, whoops, let me restart the level, pressing Y so that I get up quicker, as you can see. So the faster way, but faster by like a few seconds. So really not worth doing until you're uh, really into this. So you're gonna swing over to here, edge your way out to this staircase, bunny hop up this, bunny hop up this. So now, let me just describe what we're trying to do. You are trying to get Bob to jump off of this route. Don't bump into any of this and hit the loading zone that's beyond there. So it's a very large jump you're trying to do. That's why hitting that route seems like a really small thing, but it's incredibly important actually to getting this to work. So the visual cue I use is uh, this route right here. So I'll be bunny hopping normally up this staircase. Bunny hopping, bunny hopping. I'll stop bunny hopping here so that I can just walk up to it. And then once my feet get about in line with this, I'll do two jumps. So it should be jump, jump, and then you'll hit the roots, and then you'll go into the loading zone. Um, I made that look really easy. It's not. Um, sometimes he'll just not do it. Sometimes he'll just... His legs will flay out in a way that doesn't really work and you won't hit it. So that's why just save yourself frustration from doing that to save yourself resetting a whole bunch initially. I would suggest against that. But if you're the kind of person that just wants to right off the bat do the most optimal things, even if you have to do a few first few tries, then that's fine. But just do that visual cue. Bunny hop all the way there, start walking until you get to that route that I pointed out, and then you'll do two jumps. You should hit the route most of the time, um, but sometimes Bob will just not work. But anyways, so we are on to, forgot to split. We're on to carry next. Again, we're gonna hit Y, so we get knocked out in the air and we get up a lot quicker. So this is the quickest level of the entire game and the most simple. This is really easy to break. We don't have to do anything too weird like later levels. So we're gonna do left hand, point it towards the corner, jump, swing, easy. You get a checkpoint here. Next one, both hands up here, already another checkpoint, vault yourself over. So you don't need to move this to get across, just do a jump. Sometimes, so it seems, let me, I was not even paying attention to what I was doing. Um, 
doing jumps while holding two different directional keys seems to make you go further. Um, though I don't have scientific proven testing to uh, prove that. Anyways, so there's a few ways to finish this level depending on your level of skill and silliness. The fastest way, of course, a uh, good thing to first show. Um, again, left hand, grab the corner, swing around. You can grab again if you need to, but you can just swing around the corner and go into the loading zone below here, which is actually kind of small. Um, so you can just go out here and then drop down. Um, another way of doing this that I used to do is jumping to here, jumping up here, and then from here, you can either try to jump across there or you can climb up to here and drop down. I'm curious if I can still do this jump. I've never done it in a very long time, but you're basically just jumping for this loading zone right here. And when you see that loading screen, you know you've hit it. All right, this is mountain. This is the most straightforward level, but this is the first level out of the uh, the game so far that no extended climb and extended climb start to deviate. This is like a really small deviation. Uh, oh yeah, so this is an ex uh, no extended climb um, tutorial, so I'm only going to be showing you know, extended climb route, but the just interesting thing to know about halfway through is the first time save from doing extended climb over non extended climb. But anyway, so this is mountain, as you can tell, kind of from the horizontalness of it rather than vertical, I guess, and the lack of obstacles in your way. There's really not too much to do to speed it up. So, a lot of this is bunny hopping again, holding two directional keys at once. Um, you just have to get a feel for I can jump this far. Um, so I have this many jumps on this rock, sort of thing. And you'll, you'll get a good feel for it, you run through this level a few times. Dropping down is not too bad, because I'll show um, kind of the places you can... But yeah, don't be afraid to walk for a step, like if you feel like you're um, not gonna make it. You can also either hold off W and just jump. So you'll still get some forward momentum, not too much, or you can just completely start walking like I was saying, and then you're just going to bunny crop across all the way, across to here is the goal. If you do fall down anywhere, if you mess up a jump, you're going to want to bunny hop down here to this uh, little staircase and just climb up, and then just go at it again. But yeah, definitely don't be afraid to walk in between the rocks if you're struggling with this part. Um, it's, it can be challenging and it's better to not fall down, um, obviously, so going a little bit slower and being more consistent is a good goal. So anyways, you just normally climb up here, again, you're just grabbing, pulling your camera down so that you can lift yourself up. So this is where extended climb does its first trick where you... Extend climb up this, in case people are curious what extended climbing is and never seen it. So you climb up this. I'm really bad at uh, extended climbing in 1.3. There's also like swing climbing, where you kind of swing like this and get your way up. But they've done some strange things to prevent people from doing it easily. So what we're going to do here is we need to get onto this. And this is about as quick as doing extended climbing, if you do it correctly. So the first way you can do it is without... Whoop, I should not have had my hands grabbing that close to the wall. So the first way you can do it is hold W and D, move over to the side, jump, and get onto it. Though I think I'm, yeah, I think I touched the train and moved it. I think if I get some speed going, though, I should be fine. He says as he grabs the wall again. All right, I'll try one more time, just to kind of show it. But I do think I moved it. Oops, not like that. You have to kind of get like a jump distance away. That's not jump distance away. <laughs> and then you climb up here, and you go up here. Um, though, as you can tell by a little bit of the difficulty I was having there, you have to kind of time the bunny hops correctly and do it well. So what you can just do instead is start pulling it this way. It'll roll for a while, so you don't have to be crazy specific with it. And then you just pull your way up and go this way. So the first way I showed is obviously 
when you're really getting into it and you want to save a couple seconds on this level, well, the first thing to do if you want to save a couple seconds on this level is to optimize your bunny hopping. Optimizing your bunny hopping in this level alone saves you so much time. But anyways, so after you bunny hop down those very carefully, uh, the no extended climb version of this is quite a bit slower than the extended climb, but all you're going to be doing is getting onto this ramp, putting weight here, bunny hopping up to here, making your way here, and starting to push this thing. Looking down pushes it a little bit faster. I usually look to the side until I pass that ramp, and that's a good time to get this way. Then you can just bunny hop up this. I walk near the end of it so that I can make sure that my last jump is timed correctly, so that I don't like bunny hop incorrectly right at the end and then miss my jump. Anyways, we're just bunny hopping across this gap, getting up here. Bunny hopping up staircases is usually weird, but I think they actually fixed it in 1.3, so it's a little bit easier. Sometimes you just get completely stuck on these. And then we're just opening the door and leaving, and that's Mountain. So after Mountain, we're going to Demolition. Uh, once more, press Y at the beginning. Um, so I was I was considering showing like the old route for uh, no extended climb. I don't think it's really worth it. What we used to do involved taking these mattresses, tugging two of them all the way around to a, a distant corner of the map, using them to jump onto a edge that you can get to normally, and then going from there all the way to the end. Uh, we're not gonna. I'm not even gonna show you is then. It's a little bit boring. So, anyways, what we're we gonna do? After you land here, sometimes you'll bounce towards the wall, sometimes you'll bounce towards here. It's like really small RNG time safe. You're just going to swing over here, you can use your other arm to swing to the other side. So we want to get up this hill and get onto one of those the cement floor above. So we're just going to hold W and forward. Um, get to the top of it. Sometimes you'll have some difficulty, but Bob will do it. So you can bunny hop across these if you're feeling a little bit risky. I definitely take my time getting up there, but you can just walk across these if they're uh, if you're falling off them constantly. Obviously, it's going to be slower. Make sure to grab the edge here instead of too far in there, or else it won't work. Bunny hop over here. I would definitely suggest walking here. As we go across here, we're pretty much skipping the entire level by going across this upper area. And we're just going to bank hop across this pipe. Be very careful. Don't get too close to the edges or you will slide off and die. So this entire time, we've not picked up a single checkpoint. So if we fail now, let me not show an example of that. I've also chosen a skin color. It's very good for blending in camouflage into the pipe. If we fail at this point, we will lose multiple minutes. And um, it'll be bad news. We don't want that. Um, we're going to do. We need to jump at a very specific time. I believe the way I did it is you start this edge of the pipe, and then you wait until you cross the other edge of the pipe. That was a little early, so a little bit after the edge of that pipe, and then pull yourself up, and then pull yourself up. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. It is a little bit particular, so you have to get a feel for when you want that peak of your jump for you to climb up and grab it. Uh, so a little bit after, uh, is there a good way for me even? No, that's not really. I was gonna try to like put my mouse on OBS and show where it is, but right beyond where this horse, where this head is right now, uh, where that pipe ends, a little bit beyond that's when you wanna jump. So anyways, if you are new and you do not wanna have to go through this entire level again if you mess up and you're messing it up a lot, uh, this next part I'm going to show you, what you can do is get stuck here. But then after you're done getting stuck here, you can grab this, pull yourself, pull your, pull your, there you go. I haven't done this in a while, so it's very strange. There's a checkpoint right here. You can grab it, climb your way back up. Obviously, it does lose time, but if you are having difficulty with hitting this loading zone, it is a possibility, especially for marathons. So. What we want to do is, so you're going to be bunny hopping down here, especially if you don't take the loading, so to be bunny hopping this way and that. And you can do this on the move. You just have to get a feel for my next jump's going to take me close enough to this corner where it'll work. If you're not, just around this point, just start walking. Walk towards this corner, and then you're going to do a WA jump. So you're going to walk towards this, WA, 
jump so that you're even with there that uh, door was and you'll get the loading screen which will tell you that you've completed it and we're gonna move on to castle that's something you just gotta practice and it's, it's not too difficult to practice because you um, you have that uh, checkpoint right there but it definitely is something to sit down and do but if you just run towards that corner WA space should not be too difficult so anyways this is castle for extend the climb you just go to the closest wall and you leave the level. Um, for extended climb, we need to do something a lot more fun than that. We're gonna take this rock. I'm just gonna, I usually run forward with it until it hits the lock. Look about to that part of the gate and then break it. Probably look a little bit further than that uh, uh, stone gate there. Then you just wanna grab this and hopefully pry it free. Sometimes it does not want to be let go of. So there are two ways to get out of here from this point on. You can use this pole and bend these pipes um, enough so that you can get through here. But as you can tell, it's just like how I'm controlling the pipe. It sometimes does not really work and it's kind of slow and silly. Um, but you can get through that way. You don't really have to even pry it that much. Um, the way I do it is I bunny hop up, or climb up these stairs, bunny hop, put my back against the wall, and when I cross about this edge right here, I do a jump and then just bunny hop across. You don't really need that. You can just jump at the edge if you're having difficulty, but that's a little bit faster. So then we just jump at the door and push it open, bunny hop all the way down here. We have a catapult here. Um, so most people playing this game, they think that you can only move a catapult forwards and you can move a catapult backwards. Um, if you grab the bottom of the, that's a ground, if you grab the catapult and you look up and you hold directional keys like this, you can actually move it this way. And uh, that is how we're going to finish this level. We're actually going to take this catapult and we're going to point it about towards that uh, little what would you call it? A little plateau, I guess. Not the correct word, but write in the comments what the correct word for that is. Um, little whatever. Anyways, who cares? Someone probably does. Um, so you want to point it towards that, though. You probably should err towards the uh, taller parts of the mountain to the side there, so that it's better to be too far to the right than be too far to the left. Too far to the left is a cliff, or not cliff. It is. Nothing. It's open air. Hitting those mountains is perfectly fine. So, what we're just going to do is grab the top of the wheel, spin it around until it locks into place. This will pop up. What we want to do, and this will take a little bit of practicing messing around with, and sometimes it's a little finicky. You'll want to grab the top rim of this. What we're going to do with our right hand is we're going to put it underneath the lever. We're going to push it up. It's really important actually to push it up because it gives it, for some reason, it makes it launch uh, more violently. And then after that point, when we get to kind of the peak of our jump, when we've got, uh, I guess, a 45 degree angle and we're heading straight towards there, we want to let go as well of the catapult. If you hold on to it, sometimes you'll just get slingshotted back. But you don't want to let go of it too early or just go straight up and it'll look silly, which I might do. So it might take me a try or two. So anyways, right arm, stick it underneath this. We're going to push it and let go of the lever, and then we're going to let go of the catapult itself when uh, we're at a good angle. So push it up, and then let go of it at that angle. It's going to launch us all the way up here. If it launches you down there, it's perfectly fine, as long as you're up here. Uh, you do not want to be hanging on over here. You want to be up here somewhere. Um, if you fall down there, if you fail this at all, you're going to be loading checkpoint. Don't restart the level. It's really easy to make that mistake. Um, and then just load it back up and try again. It's fairly easy to reset that. Um, so now at this point, what we want to do is we need to be very careful. And we need to climb down this ledge. Listen for the sound of your hands uh, grabbing before you let go. Just left, right, left. You can drop about here and you'll be fine. Just don't want to do it too early. And then, whoa, Bob had a little bit too much to drink. Just drop down here, wait for the light to go off. You get a feel for about where the trap door is. It's like five or six steps back from the light. And you just stand there. 
And that is mountain, or castle. Whoops. <laughs> mountain was two levels ago. Let's uh, remember things, actually. But that's castle. Hardest part, obviously, is going to be the catapult. Make sure you let go of the uh, lever. You just push up on it, and then you let go of uh, right click, and then you let go of left click when you're at a, a good angle, which takes a little bit of getting used to. But anyways, we have water coming up, which has become a lot more difficult. Uh, 1.3. Um, and the um, I will mention the catapult's a lot easier in 1.0 as well. Um, it is a lot less sporadic with when it works. Though if you do it on 1.0, I would suggest instead of grabbing the edge of it, grab the bottom of it as far as your left hand can go, and then just push up on the lever with your right hand, and it'll just it'll just detach your left hand because it'll fling so wildly. Um, so for 1.0, if you're doing no extended climb on 1.0, all you do is you just bunny hop this way and you're good to go. But you'll notice on 1.3, they've added a giant trench here that wasn't here before. It's, it's, it used to be very shallow, but they've added a, a large trench, uh, which makes our lives a lot more difficult because we want to get over that side of it. You can use this boat right here, but it is not exactly the fastest. So we want to go bunny hop or walk this way. And the timing I use is a, right before your feet touch the water. The, the water moves, so it's not the best visual cue. But, you know, before it touches the water about, you're going to jump here. And that wasn't good because of, again, the water was in a different position. I just jumped a little early. You'll have to get your own kind of feel for it. But we're going to jump alongside here and then jump across to here. And things have to kind of go a little quickly. And this is new to me as well, since uh, I've not done too much work with 1.3. But anyways, we're going to be jumping towards here, jumping off that edge to here. That's not going to work. You kind of, you'll hear it with how the bubbles are, if it's going to work. But we want to look along here, jump before we get to the water, jump across to here, pull ourselves up, and then just bunny hop across the water over to here. Uh, it takes me a few tries to warm it up, but hopefully I can start getting a little bit more consistently now. But anyways, look at the edge, jump, jump across, pull yourself up. You kind of want to, you don't want to hit that edge like I do, because you have to pull myself up, then it doesn't work. You want to, earlier is better than later with when you jump to here. And we're going to get across here, and then you just hold space and W and D and get yourself across. I don't know why it's been holding tab this entire time. Uh, I've not actually been holding tab. That's just my no board deciding not to work. Anyways, so once you get across here, either by going on the boat or by doing this jump across, which again, take a little bit to practice that and get comfortable with it. We're just gonna be bunny hopping across the shore here. This level's quite broken. Uh, we don't use any ships really. We spend just not too much time in the water. The old no extended climb strat that I used to do involved taking this. Um, don't even know what the use of it is here. And you kind of use it as a ramp along here to jump onto and climb up to there and then go all the way up to where the uh, zip line is. And surprisingly, it's actually faster just to go around the island and get onto the, uh, don't know the correct name of it. We're going to be taking a nice relaxing ride up to the, um, up the mountain instead of actually worrying about anything. Kind of a ski lift sort of thing. But you just keep bunny hopping through that water, hug the coastline really closely. Um, so you don't get in too deep of water. We're just going to swing across here. Hopefully, there we go. Bring this all the way back until it bumps into the back here, and then you can move it and get right on. And now we just get a wait here. This is a good time for donations, as they say. Um, just right up here. So I guess I can start explaining zip line, or I guess water wheel skip is the correct number. We're doing the zip line, but we're not skipping it. So it's not zip line skip, it is water wheel skip. Um, what we're gonna be trying to do is we want to bunny hop along the zip line all the way across to the top of the water tower because what you're normally supposed to do is you're supposed to through whatever means you'd like 
break the dam or zip line across and get to the switch at the top. Bunny hopping, of course, fast way of moving, so being able to bunny hop across the uh, zip line, obviously, would be the best way to do it. Um, but it's very difficult, though. You have a small, small bit of space to uh, bunny hop across. Once we get up here, we can just jump to here. Make sure you get the checkpoint here. You will fail this jump. You will fail this skip so much. So, we want to bunny hop all the way across here. It seems easy, like you just hold W, but you kind of get a little bit jitters with it where you start going to one side or the other and you can slip off really easily. So, the mindset for this is very small adjustments. Do not make wide, huge adjustments if you can help it. Sometimes you'll just have to, you like you, you go way off one direction or the other and that's all you can do. In those situations, you have to just try the best you can. But uh, you want to make really small adjustments. What I will say is you want to draw a line between Bob, the zip line, and that post at the end. If you are lined up with the middle of the post, uh, the like the zip line is coming out of the top of your head, or the middle of your head, and going to the middle of that post, you're good to go. That is the best lineup you can have. If you want to do this, um, the uh, easier way, like if, if you're really struggling with zipline and you want to do this the normal way, you can just grab this near the top, I believe. Just grab it near the top and bring it down, which will destroy the dam. And then you can just do the water wheel. So you can try this once, and if it doesn't work, if you've broken the dam, you can just go down there and do it normally. But anyways, we're going to try to do this. We are. I'm going to at least show it a few times. So line ourselves up, middle of our head middle of the pole with the zip line and we're just going to hold w forwards and just do small camera and a and d adjustments when we land here we want to hold onto the ground like this because what can happen is you have a lot of momentum you get a lot of momentum bunny hopping down slopes so what can happen is you can just bunny hop right off the edge and it's really sad and it makes you a sad it makes you a sad llama we don't want any sad llamas here so we're gonna try this again. It seems I've broken my everything. It's not a good thing to break. If you load checkpoint, it actually fixes the dam. Um, so if you're going for this multiple times, that's something to keep into account. Um, so again, middle of our head, middle of the pole, hold W, hold space, tiny adjustments. Yeah, I got like a really bad bounce at the beginning because so it makes a slightly larger adjustment. But I'm just tapping it. Fortunately, Last jump, I didn't make quite enough of an adjustment, and I fell off. But I think the concepts are pretty clear. Small adjustments, little A's and D taps, depending on what sort of uh, direction you're kind of leaning towards. I lean towards the left, so I need to hit to the right. Now I lean towards the right, I need to hit the left. Fortunately, things did not work. Though, I believe someone showed me a way of doing this. If I remember correctly, where you can just slide down. Let me see if I can replicate it. Because they showed me it, and I thought it was the best thing in the world. But I have not tried it actually yet. So we're just going to try something. In the middle of a tutorial, we're going to try something new. So I believe you just walked towards this and had himself slide all the way down. Or maybe, I think it was like he dropped really really gently onto it. Hmm. Not a good thing in the middle of the tutorial to try something that someone showed you once. Hmm. But yeah, I would suggest try doing the bunny hopping method. It will be the fast way of doing it. It's best to just get used to doing it normally or to um, do the water wheel. So you can experiment kind of with your own setups. But anyways, middle of the head, middle of the pole, that being jump, small adjustments. Fortunately, they make large adjustments because, yeah, the plan was not working out in my favor. It's really hard to continue going like that. 
if you do grab onto the zipline after making a mistake, you have to kind of like recenter your body onto it and then jump across. I'm gonna do it one more time. Apologies about rambling there. I thought I could just like do a strat that I had seen once <laughs> without practicing it, which, you know, practice is very important. Bunny hopping has always been the method I've done, so I haven't really experimented with slightly easier stuff. But anyways, W, space, small adjustments, small adjustments. Camera adjustments and movement adjustments are important. And then grab the ground. I had plenty of momentum where I would have just fallen right off if I uh, had not grabbed onto it. So once you're up here, just moves over to the side. Can do some bunny hopping across to here. Get an achievement if you uh, dive off that correctly. And now we're going to power plant. Second to last level. If this is 1.0 that you're running on, this will be your last level. And um, depending on the version, the setup will be different for the uh, final skip of the level we're doing. So unfortunately, it'll take some experimenting. I can just say what's worked with me, though I believe my setup won't actually work with 1.3. So we'll probably have to do a little bit of fingling around with it. But anyways, so just pull one of the plugs out, destroy the, or get the fan not working. You're supposed to jam it with a post as well, or do one of the two. Uh, we can grab the post from one of the ends and just kind of drop it off to here. We don't need too much of it sticking out, maybe a little bit more than that, but you don't want, you don't want too much of the post sticking out or it'll just fall off. Anyways, so we're just going to get right to the edge, jump, jump off this, then just pull ourselves up. Now we skipped about 90% of the map. It's weird there's fog pulling through here, I don't think there usually is. Anyways, we're just going to bunny hop again, holding W and A or W and D. Bunny hopping across here. Now the way I do it, so directionally, if I want to get into it, I come around from this end, I line myself with this corner so that my body's right against this edge, like my right side will barely not touch it, and I'm just going to walk straight into it. So. Uh, how long you hold W and if you tap W during it or hold tap or hold W or S while you're in the air actually does affect where you're going to be. So I believe in 1.0, I'm not even going to jump. Uh, you don't want to jump into it. You just want to barely, barely walk into it and then just do small adjustments to it. If you see that you're going to go too far, it's good to just um, obviously hold S. And if you're not quite going far enough, holding W should work. But you saw that immediately when I touched the fan, I just let go of W. Because if I kept holding W, I would have shot way over this. We're aiming for this one. There's three of them. Doing that setup should line you up to launch into this one. And then after that, you're just going to fall through. Fall right through the fan. And then we're on to Aztec. This level can be very quick if you get the both the things first try. If you get the post set up in that corner and jumped across really quick. Um, and if you get the fan really quick, or this can take like 10 minutes if it's really not working well with you. So this is Aztec, which I obviously have the least amount of experience with. It's the newest map, but I do more or less know the uh, strats you're supposed to be doing. So WD jump there. You can't really get a startup uh, by bunny hopping. You can get a bit of a startup with bunny hopping here, though. Go about one jump away. Get yourself some momentum. And then we're just climbing up here. For extended climb, you're going to be going across there, climbing up that wall, and then going all the way across to the exit. Not crazy exciting, but very fast. So anyways, we're going to climb our way up here. We're going to go to this little brick we're going to face about to here. So we want to get to that lowest platform right there, because we want to get up from there, go all the way across to here, and then get to the exit, which is at the big statue. So we're going to face, we're actually going to face this column because we're going to do a W and D jump. So we're not going to jump fully straight. So we're going to face about to there, jump across. Need to get a little momentum going, actually. Doing it from a stationary position, probably not the best idea. I am struggling to get the distance that I want here. Very strange. Curious if I've changed how I want to do this. Actually, I might have. Yeah, let me try this. I might have 
actually elected to do bunny hopping. Yeah, so just bunny hop across to here. I think I used to, or when I was initially trying to do this, that's what I did, and then I settled on just bunny hopping across since it gets you across there a lot more often. Apologies for like the <laughs> misinformation for a few of this. So anyways, for swinging this, you just sometimes you have to swing back and forth like that if you don't have enough momentum to get your next hand over. This is not count as extended climbing because you're not going up. You're going sideways, um, which is expected in the game. Extended climbing breaks a lot of things. That isn't quite as much. Anyways, as long as we get down here, we should climb up this. I skipped about half the map. But this map is very strange in general, where like going through it, you're really not going to run into everything anyways. Um, so anyways, we are going to... We want to get across to that side over there. I believe this mossy side is actually easier to get onto than the other. Um, we're going to start this brick. No, that's not right. I know how it feels when you get the jumps right, so... About where the, um, yeah, the shadows just stay in the same place. So, so I don't really have a visual cue as a cue for this. I kind of just go by feeling. So I would say the uh, edge of that uh, shadow right there, starting your bunny hop from there, jumping three times and then jumping across like this should always work since it worked once, so it'll work all the time. Um, so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do the things that, that same thing I was mentioning before where we make a ramp out of a stick. This one is a lot more cooperative. We're gonna drop this down, line ourselves up, start jumping up here, get our way all the way up here, and now we're gonna walk across here. You want the momentum of this to go down rather than uh, the uh, up like it was about to go. And before it gets here, I'm just gonna put this post down to stop it from um, spinning. So now we have a ramp all the way up to the final area. So I actually don't really know the way you're supposed to do this. Uh, I never figured it out, this is what I did casually. So, put your arms underneath of it, knock yourself out, you should start to get under it. Um, once you get fully under it, you can start holding jump. Now uh, you are at the end of the map. So timing ends when the loading circles starts in the uh, top right. And it goes straight into the credits. So hopefully that was somewhat helpful, despite the uh, few moments where I kind of went off on a rambling fit of trying to do something that uh, I had not practiced. But I will say that Aztec, uh, probably I know the least about. I have to thank um, Hypno for doing routing for uh, Aztec No Extended Climb, for sure. I was struggling a little bit with figuring out the, the correct way of doing that. But anyways, that's uh, No Extended Climb 1.3 and 1.0, whichever version you're doing. Um, for 1.0, time will end when the loading circle shows up after Power Plant. For 1.3, it'll be after Aztec. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Steam or Discord or Twitter or Whisper on Twitch. Don't send me a message on Twitch because, like, nobody actually reads their inbox. I don't know if you actually get a notification for that anymore, but reach out to me. Put a YouTube comment here if you have small questions. Like, I get alerts for that, so feel free to... Um, I am considering doing an eight-man speedrun of this since they've added the functionality for that to it. Um, so maybe that'll be a fun thing to do with a few people, getting them together. The only, the funny thing is whoever finishes the level first is the one that, um, everyone else moves on to the next level anyway, so it doesn't really, it's really just one person really fast and everyone else can just do whatever they want. Everyone just tries to get in their way, it'd be great. But... I'm rambling now. So hopefully that was helpful. I do not really intend to make an extended climb tutorial. One, because in 1.3 it's difficult to even do extended climbing. I am not an expert on how to do it in this new patch. And two, if you if you just watch the 1.0 run, 
um, and you know some of the specifics that I mentioned for this run, you'll know everything. There's nothing crazy new. It's really just finding walls and doing extending climbing and just getting good at extended climbing. But either way, if you have questions about any of the runs, um, things you're struggling with, things that were confusing in the tutorial, feel free to shoot me a message. I am pretty much always available. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully get to see some more runners. And I will talk to you guys later.